All right, what's up, guys? Uh, two cool bros here. All right, so I'm um, about to talk to you guys about uh, Pokemon Showdown, uh, be the beta version. Particularly just about this team that I came up with. It's a rain and electric terrain team, utilizing both a weather condition and a terrain condition. So I just want to go over a bit about my team, and then I'll show you guys a replay of the battle I did. And you, got, you, know, you guys can just see if you liked it or not. Alright, so first up, we got one of the main players, my boy Pelibur, the shiny with the damp rock to increase uh, the, the length of his reign, drizzle ability, yada yada, hurricane, hydro pump, tear in, protect, you know, you can see the IVs and whatnot over here, and Chorchin's got the train extender to extend electric train. Um, I do like using a special Pinchorchin, um, but unfortunately... Vol rising Voltage is not in the game right now in Scarlet and Violet, uh, so I need Rising Voltage to use a special pinch origin, so I'll just have to use a physical one for now. Uh, we got my boy Alolan Raichu, Sword Surfer. Uh, special Attack is all, I could actually go to that and, 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 and check. So, um... Based because of the e the um EVs and IVs the manipulation I did here, um his special attack is almost as high as of course it's higher than his attack but it's almost as high as his speed. So this is a modest invested alone Raichu with max special attack with max speed and a little bit of special defense in there. Uh, what else we got? Okay, here we go. One of my favorite recently introduced Pokemon, well, introduced in Legend Arceus, we got Overquill, a uh, fish boy, but he's a dark poison type, not water. But what I really like is because he's a dark poison type, his only weakness is to ground. Um, but because he's, you know, uh, an evolution of Quillfish, you know, Hasuian Quillfish, he learns water type moves, so that comes up for his weakness to ground. So he's pretty solid, he has very good abilities, but I chose Swift Swim because that goes best with my rank team. And he has Adamant, yada yada, Citrus Berry, his signature move, Bomb Barrage, which has a high chance to poison, and does more damage if the person is poisoned. And now we have an underrated Pokemon here, we got Bear Tick, got an Assault Vest, Swift Swim, you know, this is a straight up attacker. The water terror type you can see with the other terror types I have on here. It's a lot of water terror types because you know of the of the rain boost. And we're gonna go ahead and also try Iron Leaves. It has side blade, gets a boost in electric terrain, gave it an electric seed so that it gets a uh, boost in defense, and then you know because of its ability, Quirk Drive, it automatically will get a boost in its highest stat, which in this case is attack. So on electric terrain, his attack and defense. Will both go up, which will you know help make up for that psychic grass typing and the plethora of weaknesses that typing comes with. All right, so let's just jump straight right into it. This is my battle right here that I did. So um, let's just uh, start it off, we'll react to it, and let's just uh, see how things go. All right, so we start off with Pelibird and oh, one second, guys. Reset real quick. Let's just say play music off. Should be on. There we go. All right, and play. There we go. Yeah, sometimes it just does that. Where sometimes the music comes on, sometimes it don't. No sound the website goes. So terminate. Yada yada. The rain is out. Thunder wave. See, Grimsnarl used thunder wave, but it doesn't work because Overkill's a dark type. He's a new prankster, so. in this Gyarados. I tried to use Trick, but it doesn't work because
Yep, yep. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The the whole for the process of getting a competitive mod in the actual, you know, the games. I mean, I I don't know. They just made it extremely time consuming uh, to get a terror crystal that you want. And like, I mean, if y'all have a different experience with it, you know, let us know in the comment section. Like, if if any of y'all play Pokemon Scarlet and Violet competitively, like on the actual game system itself, like, let us know how y'all um. Terra Farm and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but is it like? Did y'all find an easy way to do it? Like, yeah, because like, yeah, because like in Sword and Shield, it's actually it's, it's actually relatively easy to get your mods competitive. You just mess around with the day and night cycle, um, get your EV, your EVs up, and like, yeah, then then GG. Like, <laughs> yeah, but but it's cool. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, this is how I like to play Pokemon. I like to overwhelm with the weather and the train. And I love com combining rain with electric train because, you know, thunder, yada, yada. Yeah, nice play style. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. So um, see y'all soon. Bye-bye.